And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Tommy Lee Jones. Wow, Tommy Lee Jones writes in, Hey, John and crew. Deadline just reported that amazing actress Renee Elsie Goldsberry, who, uh, Elise. who is in, Elise, Elise, sorry, who is, I just know her as Angelica, uh, will be <laughs> co-starring with Tatiana Maslany, a good Canadian girl, by the way, in the She-Hulk series. What are your thoughts on this? And who do you think she will be playing? Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah, one of the big surprise announcements that may, they made a D23 it feels like it was five years ago now, but it was when Kevin Feige came out on stage and he announced a bunch of things, including, you know, a, uh, a Moon Knight series, uh, including a, a number of things. But one of the things that he mentioned that caught a lot of people by surprise, including me, was that they were going to do a She-Hulk movie, which or a She-Hulk series on Disney Plus which was just crazy. Then they announced that they got Tatiana to play the lead. And of course, everybody lost their minds. Then we heard that Ruffalo was probably going to be doing at least a guest appearance in it to some degree or another. And if you understand the history, she is, of course, Bruce Banner's cousin. And for some reason, my phone's going off. It should have been turned off. Um, but yes, lots of stuff going on. Now, we haven't heard a lot about it since. Not a lot since. But this news is really quite great because... I've watched Hamilton about a hundred times. Mm. Anyway, this comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who writes, Goldsberry would play a character referred to as Amelia. I don't recognize the name Amelia, so this is probably a new character for the show. Uh, Ginger Gonzalez was recently cast as Walter's best friend. As announced at Disney's Investors Day, Avengers star Mark Ruffalo will repri reprise his role as the Hulk. And Tim Roth, this was the exciting thing to me. Tim Roth is reprising his Hulk character of the Abomination on She-Hulk. So I've been a little bit hooked on, on that little piece of information because Abomination is a character I have been wanting them to bring back for a long time. So I was very excited about that. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Having Goldsberry in there. And again, you may not have ever watched Hamilton. Maybe you certainly probably haven't watched it as much as me or my wife. And we really, really love Hamilton. To see her popping up in this is great. And she was just speaking of Tina Fey. I, she was just cast as a lead in a Tina Fey produced show uh, that's that's coming up as well. I'm trying to remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I'll, I'll look that up in just a second. To me, this is fantastic news. Again, it's never a mistake to add talent. This girl has got on-camera charisma for miles. This is great, and it's always good to hear about more progress being made on shows like this. So I personally love this. Aaron, you heard about this story. What do you make of this? I felt the exact same way. Um, my, Tom got us tickets for Hamilton for my birthday in 2016. And I, I I just think that she is phenomenal. She's an incredible talent. And it's exactly what you just said. You're never going to go wrong when you add talent. And especially a Tony Award winning talent for such a memorable role um in hamilton i mean i i've heard interviews of her talking about how when she the song that she sings at the wedding yep that then goes in reverse and all of the meticulous uh training that was required just to be able to say all those words in such in such a manner it was so quick and so specific uh, and then to be able to do the exact same song again, but with a completely – the complete opposite intention. Yeah. I mean that really is such a tour de force role in a show that has so many tour de force roles. It's really hard to be the standout in a show of standouts. Um, and so I, I think that all this does is just – further continues to elevate. I don't mean it elevates because it already, the addition of Mark Ruffalo and Tim Roth, you know, already when I see the film stars saying, I'm going to do the TV show, you know, we know that Marvel has done that before. We obviously have, uh, you know, Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan doing Falcon and Winter Soldier. We have all the film stars doing their television counterparts. And I think that this is just setting up the entire MCU to where it's not a question. You know, it used to be a question of, uh, you know, it's going to be a huge hit in your career if you did the film and then you do the television version. Like, you, it was just unheard of. You just right. don't do that. And now it's 
it is a thing where no, you are, it's all controlled by the same creative bodies. So you want to do that. You want to maintain a hold on your character. And I love the idea that these film actor, the film uh, stars from the franchise are coming over and doing She-Hulk in the way that they have with the other MCU shows. And uh, so I just think that the addition of such a stunningly talented Tony award-winning performer such as uh, Goldsberry is just further proof that this is another show, another show in uh, the Disney Plus slate that is just going to be, you know, yet another extension of how great the trend is already moving forward. That sentence didn't make any sense. Let me start again. <laughs> yes, the MCU in Disney Plus is doing great things. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier picked up where WandaVision left off. She-Hulk is obviously going to pick up and carry, continue to carry that torch of phenomenal programming. Um, I'm excited to see who else they bring on board. Like, yeah. I mean, do they have scripts yet? Do we know? Yeah, yeah. It's it's written, apparently. I was so. going to say, it would be hard to imagine that they would be able to get such talent on board without being able to provide a script. Right. Although, so, if you're Marvel at this point... Right, I know. That's who true. Who doesn't take Kevin Feige's phone call at this point? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm... I'm not sure there's there's an elite view. There's an elite view. Anyway, yeah. question is for you guys. What do you think about this? I This is not a name I expected to hear attached to something like She-Hulk, but I'm very, very excited about it. What do you guys think about it? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys. 